，亲爱的马林百列集选区选民，来自新加坡各地的工人党支持者，每个爱国的新加坡人，大家晚上好。三天前，在一圈的群众大会结束后。啊，我觉得一点二就去了这个卢切的，呃，德明小贩中心去吃鹅卵的。哇，原来这个马林百列的鹅卵也很好吃哎，可以跟凤山的有一点 f 了，有点比了<咳>。在那个小贩中心里，我碰到一个一位人，一个人，这个人说他懂中医，他看到我穿着这个工人党的制服，他就跟我说。在中医里，单单有数字 （quantity）、quality。Sorry， 数字是不够的。除了有字，还要有量 （quantity）。一个人不可以只说“呃，吃一两次那个中药”，就就问：“哎，为什么那个药还没有呃什么效果呢？”药一定要吃的够才有效。呃，这是什么意思呢 ？OK。嗯，他说，啊，这是他跟我说的。他说，新加坡国会里这么久，很久以只有两个国会反对党的国会议员，在二零幺幺年，我们就有了六位反对党国会反对党议员，在板儿东补选过后，我们就有了七位。我们可以看得到，从二零幺幺年之后。我们看到政府的政策有了改善，我们要继续给，我们要继续给行动党服药，七个反对党够吗？对，不够。所以，我，我们一定要把更多的工人党候选人派进国会里，这么。我们才会看到这个政策有更多的改善。九月十一号，请投工人党一票，掌握民权，把握未来。Good evening, dear voters of Marine Parade GRC, dear fellow Singaporeans. Two days ago, an elder statesman said that voters can have their cake. And eat it too. He said that the NCMP scheme is actually enough for opposition to be in parliament. He said that you can vote the PAP and still have NCMP to be voices in parliament. Do you know what the PAP wants? The PAP wants another blank check. They want to move Singapore back to the dark days of politics when they can do anything that they want and there's nobody there to check them. They do not want to be able to to have to listen to you, voters of Singapore. You have the power to stop them, and you must stop them. Yes, and Go seems to like cruise ships. He likened the PAP and opposition to cruise ships. He said that the PAP ship has a clear destination. Yes, it is a clear destination. To a population of 6.9 million, the PAP ship is sailing there. Even though Singaporeans have told them very clearly that this, they have rejected this destination. It is sailing away with a Swiss standard of living for selected elites, but a Swiss cost of living for all of us. This year. The Economist Intelligence Unit has listed Singapore as the world's most expensive city to live in for the second year running, two years in a row. Now I'm not sure what type of cruise ship we are in when our elderly needs to collect cardboard, not for exercise but to make a living.、Uh, he also said that the opposition is like a ship on a journey to nowhere. They are like casino ships. No, but hey, wait. Who put the casinos in Singapore? Did the Workers Party put it in? No. The Workers Party 
had rejected casinos when it was debated in Parliament. I'm sorry, ESM is mistaken. Casinos are on the PAP ship on the destination to 6.9 million. The Workers' Party ship is on a journey towards a dynamic population for a sustainable Singapore. Yes, a dynamic population for a sustainable Singapore is what we would like to see for our children. When one looks at the, the government's argument in its population white paper, you get a sense that Singapore is a very big factory. We need 2 to 5% economic growth yearly. Our workforce will shrink. And in order to achieve the economic targets, the population white paper worked out the two, 1 to 2% increase in our workforce yearly. And based on that, Singapore will receive a large number of immigrants. It will bring our population to 6.9 million by 2030. It could bring the percentage of citizens in our populations to just 55% or maybe lower. In just 15 years from now, almost half of anyone in Singapore will not be a Singaporean. It is hardly a sustainable Singapore. And after 2030, what's next? What will the gov this government continue to do in order to have that desired economic target? Fellow si Singaporeans, we are not just Singapore Inc. If you are a business that looks coldly at hard economic numbers at the bottom line, then what the PAP is doing may sound logical. But however, we are not a business. We are a country, a nation. We can coldly grow the economy, but you will lead to cracks in society. You will lead to a crowded expensive and divided Singapore. It will lead to a Singapore with high income inequality and where people do not feel they belong to. As difficult as it may be, we need to invest in Singaporean workers and in our local enterprises. We need to empower ourselves to be sustainable in the long run. In our businesses, we need to develop confident Singaporeans and dynamic Singapore companies that are able to compete based on innovation with the world. I've spoken on this topic in Parliament on several occasions, and we have also outlined proposals in our manifesto as well. We need to empower our future. Both Workers' Party candidates and I into Parliament, and we will continue to push for a dynamic population for a sustainable Singapore. <clears throat> As all of you know by now, I contested in Juche SMC in 2011, lost by 300 over votes. <clears throat> Thank you. I did my best to reconnect with residents of the SMC over the past few years, mostly in publicly accessible areas. On 24th July, just six weeks ago, I found that the playing field that I was playing in had suddenly grown five times in size. I had to take the ball, put it at one far end of the field, and start to run towards the goalpost again. But I'm thankful that over the past few weeks, we have received many support. Several condominiums had allowed us in to meet with residents. Now, I'm sorry if um, we are not able to visit some condominiums because permission has, not been, has been refused. I visited several condominiums in the now defunct Juchet SMC. I met again with people that I met four years ago in 2011. Now, some of them told me that they're very happy that I've, I did not go away, but they expressed concern whether <coughs> this battle is now too difficult because this GRC is too big and it is a PAP stronghold. My response is, yes, my opponent may wish that I go away, but hey, I'm still back. Okay. In Hokkien, 
they call it Pasi Bay South. But I'm very happy that I'm back, not alone. I'm back with a dedicated team of four others who are professionally competent, but most important, I know that they are passionate about serving the people. We are here because we want to offer a committed alternative to you, the voters of Marine Parade GRC. In the course of our visits to many parts of the GRC, I found that the Workers' Party had actually contested actively in many of these areas in the past, and some very recently. The Workers' Party had contested in areas such as Juchet, Kemangan, Chai Chi, Ubi, Yunos. Boundaries were shifted at every general election, with very short notice between the EBRC report and nomination day. Marine Parade GRC had constant change of boundaries. Now, residents in Serangoon Central can claim to have sea view property because they are in Marine Parade. <clears throat> I think it's time. It is time for the Workers' Party to offer ourselves to residents of Marine Parade to serve you. People have asked how we will manage this GRC if you are elected. First, the GRC will be directly managed. The town council will be directly managed. We already have seven WP MPs and many staff who have town council operating experience. This will provide us considerable expertise to tap on advice on how to run, how to establish operations quickly. A key priority will be to ensure that there will continue to be proper maintenance and cleanliness of the estate. We will also want to focus on hardware, as in H-E-A-R-T, heart. As in how the Workers' Party had managed our unit, we will move in quickly to establish our grassroots operations. There will be regular activities amongst residents to create bonding and to build community spirit. We will also work with various voluntary welfare organizations and government institutions to ensure that essential help will continue to be given to vulnerable sections of the community that needs it. I've been in Workers' Party for nearly five years. I can say with conviction about something that I've observed firsthand. Given, ex fewer, given access to fewer resources, our MPs and volunteers work a lot harder. There's a greater human touch, something that was coincidentally reported in today's newspaper about how Aljunit has changed. There is a bigger human touch in Aljunit than before. I dare say this for my team members too, because I have worked with them, and I know that they are hands-on people. They have all joined the Workers' Party. First, as a volunteer, working hard on the ground on all sorts of activities such as helping the Meet the People sessions, in grassroots activities and in policy work. They step up to our call to be candidates in these general elections. They are qualified professionally, but we did not pick them because they are qualified. We saw how hard they have worked quietly and diligently for a long time, and hence, we want them to be your representative in Parliament, your representatives to see to your needs. At this juncture, I'd like to say a big, a very big thank you to also more the many volunteers, and they're out there in the field, who have worked diligently into the wee hours every morning just to get our campaign here going. It is very difficult, I can tell you. In just a matter of a few weeks, we had to put together a campaign for a very big GRC after the EBRC report was out. But I'm very proud of my volunteers. Thank you.
Let me introduce the team of candidates again. We have Terence Tan, lawyer and entrepreneur. He Ting Ru, head of legal department in a public listed company. Ferris Khan, entrepreneur, the chocolate man and a social activist. Dylan Ng Fueng, head of wealth management in a foreign bank. There are people, ladies and gentlemen, there are people with different and complementary backgrounds, but with something in common. There are people with passion and heart for the people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Team Marine Blue. Come September 11, vote Team Marine Blue. Vote Workers' Party. Empower your future.